Hi there, DGTV. We're at the Waterfront Hotel in downtown Vancouver for the Health and Science Expo. This is a two-day expo that basically is all about getting young people interested in the sciences and in health. Um, there's tons of lectures over the two days, a lot of hands-on exhibits. There's tons for people to do. And you know what? You kind of might even meet, meet a few new friends. We're here with Dr. Rael Klein. He's with the Department of Anesthesiology at VGH here in Vancouver. Now, Dr. Klein, we're here with, um, well, a big body. What are, what are you guys going to be demonstrating throughout the fair? Okay, what we have here is basically a medical simulator. Uh, this is a, a uh, area where uh, uh, medical personnel from nursing all the way through first responders and medical students and physicians train in crisis situations to uh, manage critically ill patients. Uh, basically, we uh, have a, uh, a simulation today of a trauma victim. It's gonna, uh, the, uh, the patient uh, today in question is a skier at Cypress Bowl who ends up uh, losing control on the snowboard and uh, ends up with facial and chest injuries. So, Steve, I'm just going to examine you. So, adequately expose the patient. Have a quick listen to your lungs. So, Victor, there appears to be decreased breath sounds Perfect. to his I'll left side. Can we get an x-ray, please? Right away. Uh, x-rays up on the screen. Okay. It looks to me like there's a collapsed lung on his left side. Do you agree with me? Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. So, I think we need to prepare for a chest tube. Great. I'll grab that. To get that fixed. <laughs> Stop moving, Steve. <laughs> Well, we've tracked down uh, Dr. Karim here. He is an expert on simulation education and innovation. Very happy I got that all out. Dr. Karim, yeah. tell me, what are we standing by right here? This is a training box for laparoscopic surgery. It simulates the um, abdomen of a patient and the camera with the instruments. So we teach people here the hands-eye coordination. So they have to master hands-eye coordination before they go to the OR and touch a patient. Well, that's good news to all of us that you are practicing before on real bodies. Now, tell me, I'm not, I'm not guessing your age or anything, but uh, this technology has come a long way since you were in med school, I bet, right? Oh, I wish I had this technology <laughs> when I was in med school. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to talk science, uh, especially in the Vancouver area, you certainly can't do it without Science World. And we're here with Erica from Science World. Now, Erica, you're planning on getting a bunch of kids down here to learn about science. Um, interesting things like how to make DNA. That's right, edible DNA. Edible DNA. We've got marshmallows and licorice. Okay. We brought an exhibit from Science World this morning, and uh, it's right over here. So this is our, right. our heart drum. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, I'm a very anxious person, so I bet you anything my heart beats crazy. You ready? Yeah, let's try okay. that. Oh, no, you have no heart. I have no heart. Oh, there it oh. is. Oh, okay. Did I just drop dead? What's going on? Hang on. Oh, let's try. Let's roll up my sleeves. Maybe that was it. Okay, here we go. There you go. Oh. Well, the interesting thing about this, though, you can actually test uh, yourself and uh, increase your heart rate, by, I guess, by thinking of something crazy, like, I don't know, going over Niagara Falls in a barrel, or something relaxing, slow it down. Yep. I'm thinking brunch at George Clooney's house at Lake Como. What do you think? I don't know. That might get my heart rate up a little bit. That is true. I'll have to think about that. <laughs>